Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this heat engine. Specifically, it is a Curie engine since it uses the Curie effect for working. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. As you could see, the engine starts to move when we put a heat source below this little wire here around the rotor. The rotor can move freely, it just rests on the tip of a needle. And here we have a neodymium magnet. The wire is Nikron wire and what is special about it is that it loses its magnetic properties at a relatively low temperature. I took the nickel wire from the heating element of a soldering iron. You can also find it in hair dryers or bread toasters. Here I have a piece of nichrome wire at the tip of this piece of copper wire. As you know, copper is not magnetic, but the nichrome wire is attracted by the magnet. However, when we heat the nichrome wire, it will lose its magnetic properties. Let's do the test. All ferromagnetic materials lose this property at a certain temperature known as the Curie temperature. In this table, you can see the Curie temperatures of different materials. For this experiment, we need a material whose Curie temperature is low enough so that we can reach it with a flame. That is the reason we use the nickel alloy. The center of the rotor is 3D printed. I added these copper wires here, which are non-magnetic, and this metal cap is just the positive terminal of a AAA battery. Okay, let's see it working. Okay, there you have it, the Curie Effect Engine. I hope you liked the video. If that is the case, please consider making a donation on Patreon. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next video.